With those triple digit temperatures on the forecast for this Memorial Day weekend, the weather will definitely be a perfect time to hit the water, whether it's a pool or why not the lake. So Jessica Parsons is live on this National Safe Boating Week with some advice to stay safe. And we know it always is crowded this time of year. And so you got to be safe. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, I don't know what it is about getting out on the water, but it just feels so much cooler out here. The breeze feels great. The water is fantastic. And we're with Game and Fish this morning, a boating safety coordinator. Actually, his name is Josh Hoffman, and we've Good been morning. talking all morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. You bet. So we've been talking a lot about safety and what you guys are looking for this weekend, especially because it's going to get so busy. It is going to be a busy weekend out here, yeah. So we're going to want to make sure that you've got your life jacket on. We've got seatbelts in our cars, but they do no good unless you use them. <laughs> yeah. Same goes true with life jackets. They prove rather ineffective unless you're wearing them. And who needs to be wearing a life jacket? What are the rules? 12 and under must be wearing a life jacket if you're on a boat. Um, if you're on a personal watercraft like a jet ski, you need to have a life jacket. Or if you're participating in a towed sport behind the boat, you need to have a life jacket. And there are a couple of things you really wanted to impress upon our viewers this morning. What were some of those things? Well, one thing, it is going to be a busy weekend. A lot of people here, the, the water level's high, so there's not a lot of shoreline. So most everybody's going to be out on the water. So you're going to want to stay really alert. A lot of different user groups, people participating in power boats, floating, bass boats, um, kayaking, sailing. So stay alert. Not everybody else out there is going to be as alert as you are. So you've got people out here swimming, they're going to be mm -hmm. fishing, they're going to be paddling, and then they're going to be some on jet skis. So you got to watch out for everybody. Yes. And to that end, especially about swimming, pay attention to the no wake areas. There's buoys that say uh, no wake speed. So you've got to slow your boat down until there's no white water coming off the back end of the boat. We were also talking, you don't even want to see people just sitting on the edge of the boat. Right, so if you get above a wakeless speed, you need to be in a seat that was designed by the manufacturer to hold you in the, in the boat. So if you're sitting on the side of the boat, the back of the boat, the very front of the boat, and you're above a wakeless speed, that's really unsafe. Uh, that's when we get people falling overboard, and that's when you have uh, propeller injuries. So that is something that uh, our law officers will be watching for. Now, you're not a badge guy. You say Correct. you're the nice guy. Right. <laughs> so when these badge guys do find that and they see you doing that, I mean, are you getting a ticket? What's happening? Uh, there's a good chance for it. There's, there's going to be a good presence out on the lakes um, and rivers this weekend. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure that you're minding your P's and Q's. But to be clear, our badge guys are pretty nice, too. And you do a lot of boating safety classes. That's really yes. what you're, okay. And then, and paddling safety classes. Yeah. Talk to me about that. So through the Game and Fish website on the boating page, the education page, we've got links to a bunch of different online boating education classes for power boats. Um, just a pro tip there, your insurance company will probably knock off some off your premium if you do take one of the classes. And then we do offer uh, quite a few paddle classes around the state. They're hands-on. We provide the equipment, the kayaks, uh, get you some good hands-on training with how to use your paddle equipment safely and effectively. Thank you so much, Josh. A lot of really good information. You know, boating sales have skyrocketed just over the last year. And if you're going to be out with um, paddling and things like that, it's really good to know that you could take a class and learn some safety tips along the way. And also, one last thing, sober driver. Sober driver on the boat. <laughs> and we'll send it back to you. Yeah, good reminder. It's so packed. It's always great to get out on the water, but you got to be safe.